Afghans are preparing to head to the polls on Saturday to choose a new leader. Some 9.6 million voters have registered in a country with a population of about 32 million. But there are concerns that security worries could lead many to stay at home. And if turnout is low, it could undermine the legitimacy of the eventual winner. The Taliban have made no secret of their aim to disrupt the election. The militants have been staging near-daily attacks since the collapse of peace talks involving the United States. The recent suicide bombing near a re-election rally for President Ashraf Ghani was a sharp reminder. This election has also been delayed twice in the shadow of past failed peace talks. Despite the rise in bombings, candidates, including Ghani and his long-term rival Abdullah Abdullah, are still making big public appearances. They're telling people to vote, because to do so is to defeat the Taliban agenda of circumventing the democratic process. But there's also the threat of corruption. The 2014 vote was marred by accusations of massive fraud on both sides. The vote left no clear winner, obliging the U.S. to step in and broker a deal that saw Ghani and Abdullah Abdullah form an awkward national unity government.